Consider the virtual page reference string 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 1, 3, 2, 4, 1 on a demand paged virtual memory system with main memory size of 3 page frames that are initially empty. Let LRU FIFO optimal denote the number of page faults under the corresponding page replacement policy. Then option A optimal less than LRU less than FIFO. Option B optimal less than FIFO less than LRU. Option C optimal is equal to LRU. Option D optimal is equal to FIFO. So it is given that the main memory size has three page frames. So and we also see that the three page frames are initially empty. So let's first take the simplest of these mechanisms which is the FIFO. So 1, so FIFO 1, then 2, 2 and then 3. Now a page fault is when you access a reference string which is not there in the main memory. So since the main memory was initially empty and you accessed three elements which were not there, all three get counted as page faults. So let us keep a count of the page faults that, uh, that have been incurred. So one was a page fault, two was another page fault, three was another page fault. Next is two. So two is already there. So it is not a page fault. Next is four. Since this is FIFO, first in first, first out that is FIFO, one will be pushed out and four will be pushed in. So one is popped out. So two, three, four. So 4 was not there. So that was a page fault again. So next is 1. Again 2 is popped out, 1 is pushed in. So 3, 4, 1. That was another page fault. Next is 3. 3 is already there. Next is 2. So 3 is popped out and 2 is pushed in. So 4, 1, 2. So that was another page fault. Next is 4 which is already there. Next is 1 which is already there. So for FIFO we get 6 page faults. So next we will see the least recently used mechanism page replacement policy. So again the 3 page frames are initially empty. So you have 3 page frames and the first three elements are pushed in as page faults as 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2 and 3. So these are three page faults. Next is 2. So least recently used basically instead of popping out the first element that was pushed in, it will pop out the element that was least recently used. So now that 2 is accessed again, 2 gets higher priority than 3. So no page fault but the ordering changes. So it becomes 1, 3 and 2. So out of these 3 elements, 2 will be the last one to be popped out now because it has been used more recently. So next 4. So out of these 3, 1 was least recently used. So 1 is popped out. 3, 2, 4. So that is another page fault. Next is 1. So 3 is the least recently used that is popped out. 2, 4, 1. 1 was a page fault and now 2 is the least recently used. So 4, 1 and 3 is pushed in. That is another page fault. Next is 2. So 4 is pushed out, 1, 3, 2, that is another page fault. Next is 4, so 1 is the least recently used, 1 is popped out, so 3, 2, 4, that is another page fault. Next is 1, 3 is popped out, 2, 4, 1. That is another page fault. So for LRU mechanism, we get 9 page faults. 
Next, we look at the optimal page replacement algorithm. So, in optimal, what we do is we look forward to see which is being used nearest in the future and we won't push it out. So, again, the initially empty three page frames are taken. So, the first three pages that are pushed in are 1, 2, and 3, which incur page faults. So, three page faults. Next is 2. So, 2 is already there, no page fault. Next is uh, 4. So, now we will look ahead. 1 is used, 3 is used and 2 is used. Out of which 1 and 3 are used in the near future. So, 2 is pushed out and 4 is pushed in. So, here order basically does not matter. So, 1, 4 and 3. That was a page fault. 1 is already there, 3 is already there. Now, we need 2. 1 and 4 are uh, being used in the future, 3 is not. So, we push out 3, pop out 3 and push in 2. So, 1, 4, 2. So, that was another page fault. 4 is already there, 1 is already there. So, optimal has 5 page faults. So, we see that optimal has 5 page faults. FIFO, first in first out has 6 page faults. Least recently used LRU has 9 page faults. Therefore, option B, optimal, less than FIFO, less than LRU is the right answer.